Hello there and welcome to the new video on Tableau versus Power BI. This video is based on your request where you have given so much of love to my previous video with uh, so many views, likes and comments and wanted to see the uh, Tableau difference between the Tableau versus Power BI. And uh, here again, what I'm sharing is completely my experience, not like anything related to administration or costing or anything that's that's completely separate and uh, where I have never been involved. So no information there. You can read websites on uh, whenever you search with that keyword Tableau versus Power BI, you will see all that information. But what I'm going to tell you is mostly the developer friendly information, the people who will actually have to go in and work. What do they expect from Tableau and what compared to what, uh, what you should expect from Power BI? And uh, if you have seen my previous video, it's on the similar lines. So let's get started. So Tableau versus Power BI, let's start with the Tableau. First of all, it is easy to use because of its intuitive interface where very clearly you can see what are all the fields you have, where you need to drag and drop into the rows and columns, sort of a pivot structure they have given. And with the help of whatever you drag and drag, uh, drag and drop, you basically get the visualization. So what I think is if someone can give you 30 minutes of introduction, you will start using it. It's so easy to so easy to use. And that is why the learning curve is quick, right? Once you start using it after 30 minutes of orientation, you will start exploring the visualization. Obviously, with more experience with by going more in depth by looking at different scenarios, you will find that uh, how you can really configure it. But with the basic charts, it, the quick learning curve is really, really good. And if I talk about that, uh, how you can get completely comfortable with the sheets, uh, producing the multiple sheets, putting it in a dashboard or in a story, I think with basic charts where you are not doing any of those complex charts like which are in the circle or which, which is like, you know, Sankey diagram and all which you may have seen in infographics. If you are not looking towards those, I think what you need is one good month, just one month, two hours every day. If you are giving it to the Tableau, you will be having the required information, what you need for your uh, basic dashboards and the stories. Uh, to create the visualization. That's why I say the learning curve is really, really quick over here. After that, uh, what you have is the strong community support. Now this community support both from internal of Tableau. When I say internal, it's the website community.tableau.com. Uh, the support from there is amazing. And the second is basically the external community, the uh, data fams and all who basically give you the review of your visualization it they basically help you to produce a better visualization compared to today that's like a slowly improvement you are making in your visualization skills and that's what you basically need you need experts to really help and guide you what you are doing wrong in the visualization be it color be it the type of visualization or anything else they are there to help you and on twitter they are easily accessible you use the uh, hashtag hash data fam f a m uh, and then you know uh, someone from the community will will be there to help you and guide you the guide you for the right and good vis data visualization that's what i meant by the good community or strong community support uh, after that uh, it has the capability of doing the advanced visualizations um, there are a couple of blogs which even i have read uh, where a complete step-by-step -step instruction is given, but still uh, advanced visualization is basically for those who have really got a good grasp on the basic and the overall configuration of it. And what I, uh, what I have seen is once you get a grip on how uh, those steps you need to follow, let's say to create a circle or to create a Sankey and things like those, it becomes really easy to produce those advanced visualizations. So creating those uh, in starting, it is relatively tough because you need to know a little bit of trigonometry because they use sine and cos to, to create circles or to flow the information. But after that, once you understood those things, then it is easy. After that, what you have is the effective dashboarding. Uh, I have seen uh, both the dashboarding in Power BI and Tableau. I'll show you the Power BI as well, what my views are. 
but overall here in the effect effective dashboarding is more number of options like you want a floating layout you want a fixed layout how do you want to structure the information very in a very tight layout and things like those it's very very easy and with every new release they are making more enhancement which is making relatively very easy and uh, configure the advanced uh, dashboard so that's why i think dashboarding is really really effective and you can find a lot of good examples on the tableau public website then you have the uh, both the desktop app and cloud based app in case of tableau what i have seen in case of a cloud based app that they have a limited features as compared to the desktop app now it can be because i don't know maybe in my organization the all the configurations are not opened it may be that issue i am not very 100% certain because again this is an administration part of the thing but it has both these interfaces my experience is cloud based application has limited features desktop has full features um after that you have the strong story building this is really amazing where within a story you can bring in either the one sheet or you can bring entire dashboard as well so that way within one story you can actually have like five four five sheets or four five dashboard based on what you are really trying to create so that's an amazing and strong basically i would say story building uh, you know interface that you are having within tableau then what you have is the uh, it lacks data modeling uh, where you cannot really produce a very high sophisticated data models as compared to the other tools like in case of power bi um, you can still create those simple joins to the unions and stuff like those but it's not advisable uh, even by the tableau that if possible or wherever possible keep those relationships or maybe keep those one single data set uh, those joins and create one single data set and give it to the tableau so that it can it can basically uh, or the memory or the engine focuses more on creating visualization and less on data modeling then what you have is the uh, performance goes down for big and complex fix this is just my ex my experience two three times what i have seen is whenever i am producing slightly complex and uh, working in an environment where server is present uh, the viz got stopped abruptly like for example in sometimes you may have seen that excel stopped abruptly and again you need to open up and uh, if you have not saved then your work is gone i think in case of tableau i have recently seen that uh, uh, they do an auto save as well i'm not really sure whether i had that feature on on, on or not but looks like my work got saved so my advice is keep saving your work in case a situation like this where the tableau is basically shut down automatically so that's my experience in some cases where i'm creating slightly more complex visualization or working in a uh, sort of a server sort of an environment where you know connection need to be established data is uh, passing through networks and there is a huge processing time which is involved so because of that i see that in some cases the performance is goes down uh, basically going down now let's come to the power bi um, power bi because of i believe the interface that it has here i have seen i have told you that it is easy to use it is relatively tough to start again you have drag and drop but you need to do little bit of um, uh, more hand holding i mean if someone is is basically going for a 30 minute of orientation and you know they can start doing the stuff with this 30 minute of orientation what i have seen or i have experienced is i faced problem i had to again go back and look for uh, tutorial or look for the information to really see where the information i really need to put in to get the output so that's why i'm giving it relatively tough to start uh, the second thing is need long learning curve Uh, it has a reason uh, in case of a quick learning curve like i have said in case of tableau it's because uh, all the basic dashboarding and all we are focusing on but here when i'm saying the need long learning curve it me what i'm basically including is bit of a data modeling as well because within the power bi you have the capabilities where you can clean and model your data in a way you need so that's why along with the dashboarding you have the feature of doing the data modeling and that's why i'm saying 
it is relatively it, it requires relatively long learning curve i think anywhere between 2 to 3 months depends on how quickly you grasp the concept depends on how quality the material that you are getting uh, 2 to 3 months is what you would at least require to get a good grasp both on the front end dashboarding and the back end data modeling which even up to a certain extent require data cleaning and things like those now with power bi community is good and responsive uh, but what i have not seen and you can correct me in by putting in a comment if if my uh, my information is not complete here is that uh, i have not seen the any community like this one where apart from the community which is inside the power bi website which is community.powerbi.com I have not seen the external community where they are give where they are giving you the feedback on your visualization. So usually, even I would say, even if you are doing a visualization in the Power BI, you can still reach out to the Tableau community by using that hashtag hash #DataFam on Twitter, by for getting the input for your own visualization here on Power BI. This community never discriminate between the tools or anything. The focus is more on visualization obviously they are expert on the tableau that's what i have observed but the discrimination or uh, it's not that oh you are coming from power bi will not going to help no that's not the case you can actually go in and take feedback on your visualization um, after that what you have is the basic to moderate level of visualization um, as compared to the advanced visualization so but in case of advanced visualization you need to basically have a corporate account or you you need to be in a professional uh, version where your uh, they need your professional email id and you can actually get the advanced visualization which third party may have created so that's why i'm saying basic to moderate level of visualization is something which is possible and been given uh, unlike the advanced visualization where you can create sanke diagram and all you can uh, you have the option of getting it as a third party tool over here is is what my observation is then uh, so on the sankey i may be wrong because if i am trying to remember sankey is basically a chart which is there in the power bi but other visualizations uh, which you know involve those curvy charts and all it's, it's basically not there and uh, many many of those advanced chart is something uh, if if i if i think about a particular chart um, i'll let you know in my comments i can't recall anything right now but yeah there is there is this option where you can you can basically import the external chart and get inside then you have the open dashboarding what i meant by open dashboarding here in case of tableau when you compare with this where you have the tiled layout which is fixed layout here you can just bring in the component anywhere on the white screen i mean you can have the kpis here you can have the kpis here it's not a tight layout or a fixed layout what you usually see that's why i'm saying open dashboarding is present um, after that uh, you have the desktop plus cloud based environment and both have the similar features i mean in the desktop what you see is what you will going to see in power bi that's what i have seen when i have looked at it if you are using the free version you will obviously have the limited capability but if you are using premium they have all the features then you have the strong data manipulation it has the dax dex data analysis expression language through which you can create very very complex expressions and they are relatively stable i mean the the power bi don't shut down what what i have observed once once we have started creating that uh, strong data modeling you have the power query where you can basically uh, bring in multiple uh, tables go into the data modeling tab over there you can go in that and create the data models which is essential for enterprise level application from where you have 10 15 20 different tables and you need to connect the data uh, finally what you have is performance is good for relatively large app that's what i've seen initially it was an issue back 2000 uh, i guess 15 where i was exploring it and i did not find relatively stable but now when i see it today uh, after five five years or six years it it's become relatively very very stable and for the large application the performance is not going down a lot so that's that's what my observation is based on this 
So this is what the feature comparison from a developer point of view I wanted to do between the Tableau and the Power BI. Let me know uh, what I have missed in the comments if you are one of those experts into the Tableau or into the Power BI which you think I may have missed. Uh, please let me know into the comments. That will be very helpful uh, for me, not only for me but as well as for the entire community who is viewing our video just so that they can, we, they can go through the comments and, and you know, uh, get benefit even from your knowledge as well. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, let me know how did you find the video. If you have any further question or recommendation like you asked for this video, let me know in the comments that as well and uh, hopefully I'll get some time, gather the facts uh, based on my experience and put it over here. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.